to talk about something called pre-flight. It's one of the Jostens tools that goes through and checks your page for you. So everybody connect to the Zoom room, please. I see three of y'all. Good deal. You should be able to see the screen. Huh? Yeah, but that's fine. I'm ready for it. No, you're good. No worries. Okay, guys. So I really need you to be quiet for like 10, ten minutes max. Okay. I need voices off for 10 minutes max. That's all I'm asking, especially in the back where I can't get on you guys a little bit. All right. So in Monarch, let me get logged in real quick. This is the way that we're going to be. Uh, it's a last check. It's called pre-flight because it's right before you submit your pages. You guys can run a pre-flight check, but you cannot officially submit pages to the plant. Only I can do that. But what that means is once you run your pre-flight and make your edits, I go through and submit each of your spreads. So since we're recording this video or I'm recording this as a video, um, just keep your guys' voices off so everybody can hear. That'd be great. Um, while this is loading up, I want to talk about this announcement that I've made with our agenda. Um, in the, if we go to the ladder, right, this is the ladder that we're used to. I've made some adjustment, not adjustments to the assignments, but adjustments to the actual file. This is what it usually looks like, right? With this is the deadline down on the bottom. I've also, hi, welcome in, made it chronological. This is page one to the last page. So you can see how the thing is going to be stuck together and how the deadlines break up in between those different spots. There's a Zoom room if you want to join. But that's deadlines has it broken down by deadlines. And then chrono has it in order from start to finish. So if you're interested in how the book's going to look, it looks like this right now. All right. So pre-flight, I should be logged in by now. We're going to go to a deadline one page. Let's do driving, for example, which is Justice and Maya's. So let's go to driving, which is on page 10 and 11. Open it up like normal, right? Oh, also, uh, ju junior mugs or freshman mugs. Some, one of the mugs are in the process, but they're almost done. I'm emailing with Jackie right now. All right, so What's this is what senior mugs? senior mugs are a different deadline because of senior pictures. Senior mugs are a different thing. All right, so we have... A page, a spread created, right? If you go out of yearbook pages and go down here underneath portraits to the warning icon with a little pre-flight, if you click on that, it's going to analyze your spread, analyze the page here, and look for errors. I cannot submit if there's any kind of error. So I, um, what the happens here, like for example, this does not mean that you've written or created your page wrong. It just means these are print errors that need to be resolved before I can hit submit. So if we click on this one, it groups them by color. So 17 color and two text, or it groups them by uh, error exactly. So if we click on this first one, it's going to show exactly where that error is happening. So if we zoom in, something going on, it says process color swatch applied to printable object. And then if you hover over this pre-flight, it says change the fill color that is applied to this object. And it's specifically looking at this outlined piece right here. So what all you'd have to do is right now, see if we look down in the corner, if I expand my buttons, you can see that this has a fill currently. We wanna click and drag the stroke color over to fill. Actually, we'll just, okay, double click on that, copy this color, control C, go into the fill, double click on the blue fill, control V, click okay. Nothing's gonna literally change, but I think it's just an issue of the frame situation or whatever. And then once we go through that, that's resolved. You'll just have to go through each of these and make sure that the fill matches the stroke. So basically what I want you to do is open up your spread and then go to the pre-flight page and then go through and adjust the errors. We can work with warnings, but we cannot submit with edit with errors. So like overset text, for example, I don't know exactly what that means because then you can see in my example, there's not any overset text. And when I was messing around, it did not um, resolve when I deleted it, but you can click refresh. We should have one less error because uh, I fixed the color. Yeah, so watch. I click on process color photo. It's gonna highlight the uh, specific thing. If it's color, you can just go over to the color settings right here. I'm gonna adjust this fill to be the same color. And then when I click okay and refresh, it should go down to 17 errors in theory. Yes, perfect. So all you have to do is go through each of these and make sure that your error is good to go. If you have a question on what your error is saying, let me know and I'll help you. Um, we have until midnight tonight at the latest. So if you still need to do some finishing touches after fifth period, that's on you guys. Um, so let's look at the rest of the agenda here, which is yearbook Friday. Okay, 
So that's the pre-flight walkthrough. Mugs should be flowed. Uh, make sure that your colors are correct on the class number. So that also, you know, that's going to be something I'm looking for. Um, if we go down to our mugs, sophomore mugs one, let's open up soft mugs. I think someone's on it. So let's go junior mugs. Okay. Um, so can I, can I get on junior mugs real quick? Can someone, whoever's on junior mugs, uh, save it and close it real quick? Or maybe it's, maybe it's Jackie. Oh, whatever. Let's do freshman mugs. Okay. Basically, what I want you guys to look for is to make sure that the in the uh, mug divider, I'm going to open it up real quick. Once it decides to open. Come on. Okay, so it's not going to open. But what it is going to happen is the class of 20XX, make sure those colors are consistent. I was looking and it looked like they switched every other page. So all you guys need to do just to recap is run your pre-flight check on your page and you have to fix the errors because we can't submit with errors. And I can help you fix the errors if you need. That's what we're doing today. Um, if you're not assigned a D1 page, you need to be going from the, or if you don't have a D1 page that you're currently working on, you need to be updating the, uh, where is it? I lost it. Mugs question reference and start filling some of those headlines in. I highlighted a few that had a lot of answers, but um, at the same time, we want to just put one question per mug page and then add a few answers in the text boxes. I can't access the mug page to give you an example um, at the moment. So I'm going to not save my changes just in case anything got messed up on the driving page. Um, but basically, you guys just need to run pre-flight checks on your spreads. So I'm going to stop the Zoom room. I'll upload this recording once it finishes processing so you can read it later on or check it after class if you need to. Um, other than that, we're down to the wire here, so it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. No worries, you guys.